Hi guys, Andy here. Um, this one could be interesting. I've got a Doogie X5. Doogie, Doogie, Doogie. Um, now, we've got to find our way in. This cost me a grand total of $55, which right now works out at just over £38, I believe. So I think it's very important we bear that in mind when looking at this device. Thirty-eight pounds. Um, the box is empty. Now they put in the package. I got it from Gearbest. I won't lie; I've not been a fan of Gearbest. I've tried to f order phones from them twice in the past, and it just sits on I don't know, like pending or order accepted for like ten, literally ten days. Um, and it's and I'd, be, I'd basically I just cancel an order from somewhere else. So, okay, I guess so basically the idea being obviously we use the converter, but, whoops, if I don't drop it, let's bring my light in a little closer. But we can see um, it's a regular micro USB, so I'm not really too worried about the cable there. So, quick guide, smart gestures, oh, draw a horizontal line to make a call, draw M to the music, draw a W to say, draw a line down to take a picture, interesting. Um, double tap to wake. Very interesting. Getting to know your mobile. All right, so we're going to have a look. Have a look at that in a moment. So, I've not tried a Doogie advice uh, device before. Wow, that feels that feels heavy, but it feels solid. It feels really nice. It feels really nice. Let's go ahead and take off the. The front screen. Now this is the regular version. I have since already I've seen there's a pro version. Um, at this point, I've not really had time to look at what the difference is. It could. Work. I mean, this doesn't do 4G, for example. It might be, might be related to that. Let's just turn the power on. Hopefully, maybe not. Now it could be. Quite often, Chinese import devices have a bit of tape over the contacts, like that. I've learnt my lesson. Fool me once, all that. Um, so while we're in there, we can see it's dual SIM. They look like uh, micro SIMs and a micro SD card slot. Uh, the battery, 2,400 milliamp hours. Um, I've got to say, it's... Uh, it's, it's quite impressive thus far. It just it feels a decent device. So I have tried other budget phones, and almost straight away in the build quality, you can feel that it is a budget device. We might have to keep cleaning the screen though, by the looks of it. So we've got uh, capacitive buttons along the bottom there. Obviously, the front-facing camera, I believe, is only like two megapixel. Speaker, well, the earpiece at the top. Ambient light sensor, I would assume. So, micro USB charging point on the top there. Next to it, a three and a half mil earphone jack. Down the left side, nothing. Down the right side, power button and volume buttons. Which feel, I mean, again, they feel very good. Um, on the back, got a very small. I believe it's a five megapixel camera with a flash. I'm saying I believe because normally I look up on GSM Arena the specs of a device, but this doesn't appear to be. Did say swipe? Oh, I got them. We're in the camera. Let's 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 check the camera out. So not the not the quickest of cameras, but. So it's looking at this point very, very stock Android. Android version 5.1. Oh, I haven't actually connected to Wi Fi or anything. I'm always torn when I get a, uh, a cheap import device if I should factory reset. The problem with factory, actually, we've got the Play Store. I don't believe. Have we got? So we've got Google. Why haven't we got the Google Play? Oh, there it is. Is it regular? Couldn't say. Yeah, fair enough, because I'm not. So let me uh, 
Let me log into Wi-Fi and then we'll carry on. Right, so we're into the Play Store. Um, I think it's going to uh, it's going to want to update itself. Uh, let's take a look. We didn't actually look at the gallery. So the picture that I'd taken, not that you can particularly tell on. Again, it looks very stock Android. Why have we got there? We go. Well, I mean, that on first glimpse, that that doesn't. Ooh, that doesn't look too bad. I see we've got HDR as well. Do not move to yeah, HDR process. There we go. If that makes any difference, really, in these sort of conditions. Um, YouTube. I'm going to have a look at YouTube, perhaps. Have we got YouTube? Uh, mm, is it alphabetical, this? Yeah. Maybe not, so maybe we can... So the keyboard's responsive enough. I mean, that's, that, seemed, that seemed pretty snappy to me. Am I am I overselling this? That seems pretty quick. The one thing I noticed as I was entering my details, I kind of feel it's a little plasticky. You probably can't hear the foot foot noise or something doing that. But it feels a little plasticky around the the white bit. But I'm okay with that. You know, it's not it's not particularly an issue. Is that the oh, okay? So that's that's not app switcher. That's uh, settings. Or just even just search even. Uh, right, YouTube is now installed apparently. Is it going to ask me which? Oh, so we've got to run some updates. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll come back again when all this is ready to go. Right, so I've updated apps. I've installed. Or update to play services. Let's go back into YouTube. Uh, sign in as me. Just go to subscriptions. I see what we've got. So it's only a as far as I'm aware, a 720p screen. Sounds sounds pretty good for the speaker. It's like having a secret. And nobody but me knows I'm doing it. Crank it up to 720p. I would say that looks pretty good. Can we get the brightness up higher perhaps? Oh, just a bit of a dark image, and as most we can see is, is me, is my reflection. But I can tell you, I think that, uh, that looks pretty good. Let's see if there's anything else. Maybe a little bit brighter. Again, let's check quality. We're at 720, good. So, uh, I think that screen looks quite good. I'd, if it's not going to be used for um, for virtual reality, if it's not going to be slapped right in front of your face, 720p, I think, is fine. Um, now, something else while I was looking, while I was waiting for the app to update, I had a quick look through settings. There's a couple of things worth showing in here. So, gesture unlock, I had to turn this on. Uh, double click to wake. Slide up to unlock, slide down to cameras, paint um, so there's a variety of different things you can do. So let's try the Z to clock. It shows us the slash, there is the clock. Let's try the slide down to camera. I mean, it's a little bit slow. Let's just try the, the double tap to wake. It doesn't actually unlock. Um, which I guess isn't, well, I suppose it's okay. Uh, but also, I like visitor mode. 
We'll hide your collar lock. Well, anything kind of personal bits and pieces. Scheduled power on and power off. I actually really like this idea. Um, I think there's, you know, why not have it shut down at midnight for me? I mean, I'm oh, these days I'm always asleep, probably about 11 actually, the safest. But, you know, you can have it shut down at midnight, wake back up at 4 or 5, then your alarm goes off at whatever time. I don't see one. And then gesture, gesture system. Turn to silence. Yeah, we'll have that on. Answer by swing. Okay. Smart switch. Yeah, I mean, I, I use a separate app to do to do smart switch. Um, so that would be, that'll be interesting. Let's try. Uh, oh, I don't know if I've looked at this one, actually. Smart. So I don't even know what this one is, honest, if I'm honest. Um... I'll have to look into that one perhaps before the review. So, I think that's all really. I could install Geekbench and and run that, but I think actually you best you have to wait for the review for that. But I don't know. I think that's that's quite slick. It's a it's a very pure Android um, camera. We'll have to wait and see on testing design. I think it's really quite nice. For thirty-eight pounds, thirty-eight pounds. I think it's. I think it's <laughs> initial opinion of for thirty-eight pounds. I think this is amazing value. So, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. I'll do a few different tests. I do have another. I've got an Umi Rome knocking around somewhere that I never actually granted the review. So maybe I'll, I'll match this up against the Umi Rome. We'll see how they get on. Interestingly, when I logged into Google, I got an email from Google as I always do. New sign-in from Huawei Idios X5. Now, I don't know if it's just took the X5 and found a different phone, because I've looked at images of the Huawei Idios X5, and it looks nothing like this. Um, so I don't think it's a different... I don't think it's a rebadged Huawei. But um, there we go, the, the Doogie X5. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.